Hope you guys are having a lovely day. You had a relaxed weekend. You had a stressful week, but you managed to distress yourself at the end of that week. And hope you are investing in your business and things are going well for you today. So today we're going to talk about how to conquer the fear of marketing yourself. Ooh, yes, marketing the the what word is it the dangerous word everyone doesn't really like the word marketing but as a business owner as an entrepreneur it's so important that you learn how to market yourself now i'm not talking about marketing your business we're going to talk about that in other videos i'm going to talk about marketing yourself so i'm going to share with you things that i do to help me conquer the fear of marketing myself and hopefully it will help you conquer the fear of marketing yourself. In business, it's important that we do market ourselves so people know who we are and know about our brand, know about our service and get ourselves out there. So I'm going to share with you some tips that are going to be things that you can do offline and also I'm going to share with you things that you can do on the World Wide Web. So let's talk about the things that you can do online first. The first one is writing articles. And I'm sure you've heard about this before, but a lot of entrepreneurs, because Richard Boy is all about helping individuals, you know, moms, dads, small to medium businesses, get their brand, their marketing, and their career in the right direction. And one great way to do that is writing articles. Now, a lot of people say, I'm not a writer, I'm not an author, I don't think I can write an article. You'd be surprised. Lots of different ways that you can set out a template for an article. Now, an article doesn't have to be something that is written word. There's a lot of other ways that you can create an article. The first one is that you can do pictures and just simple one word line sentences. So, for example, if you are a blogger and you blog about food, you can get take pictures of the wonderful delicious food that you cook and then just a, a single line description of that food and also you can take pictures of yourself with that food if you have a friend or a family member who can take that picture of you um, cooking that food or the picture of you making that food that tells a story what an article really is all about is telling the story about you and telling the world who you are and what you do. So it doesn't have to be an article, something that you've written down in words. It can be a picture, obviously it can be a written word, and also it can be audio. You can talk to an audio, talk your voice and share your voice on, on social media. Now there's lots of platforms that you can go to to be able for you to use so you can share your message out in the world. You've got things like Skype. Now Skype, you can you can invite someone onto Skype, for example, if you want to do an interview with someone in the industry that you're in, in health and fitness, in um, travel and in blogging, in your um, design company or whatever it is, you know, invite them onto Skype and then you can record that conversation that you're having with Skype. Now there is a small fee Skype charges for recording videos and recording um, your audio. But another great tip is that make sure that your webcam, if you've got a webcam on your computer and you find that your webcam is not that clear, it's quite blurry, invest in an extendable webcam that you can add to your computer or your laptop and get good quality ones, you know, you know that similar to GoPro, if you go on eBay, you go on Amazon, or if you go online, you'll be able to find some 
single webcam with good quality visual that you can connect to your computer or your laptop that you got right now because it's so important when you are sharing your message to the world we're talking about how to conquer the fear of marketing yourself because a lot of people are shy don't really like to be in front of the camera don't want to be in the spotlight so they find it very difficult to communicate themselves to the audience they would like to communicate to. And that's understandable. We know we're all different people. We have different characters, different personalities. Nothing wrong with that. But no excuse for you not to market yourself. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to achieve your goals for your business and attract the clients, attract the resources and the profits that you want for your business. So articles in the sense of writing article if you're a great writer good on you then you must be at least once a week posting out some content great content don't just copy content that's out there already take some time to sit down and plan your content out and what you would specifically like to share i mean there's three simple things when you are sharing your content number one is it relevant to the audience that you're talking about Number two is going to help the audience that you're talking to about, that you want to share that content to. Is that the content that you share is going to really help them solve a problem or meet a need. And number three is after you've done those two things, is that give some useful links, useful information that they can go to and read in their spare time because you are sharing something out to them and also you're marketing yourself. So article writing, you've got um, audio that you can do, and you've also got video that I'm doing with you right now. So that's one great way for you to conquer your fear of marketing yourself. So if you're a shy person, don't like to show your face, you know, then you can do the audio and then you can do the article writing. And if you're not confident of a writer, you can take pictures, get some wonderful pictures of the content or the countries that you've traveled to and the things that you do you've got things like instagram where you can post that on there you know my son had his wardrobe we were um <laughs> doing some diy uh, in his bedroom and he literally just scratched his name on his um cupboard and tinted the pictures in different ways and he posted on instagram and he had over 180 likes so there's so much things that you can do. So there really is a no excuse for you not to be able to market yourself. Now we're going to talk about marketing yourself offline. Another great way for you to market yourself offline and also to conquer the fear of marketing yourself is that you go to some events. Now you, if you're in the industry that you are liking to go into, go online and type in the industry that you are in right now or the industry you're thinking of starting the business and you'll be able to find some events going i think um i'll put some links to some of the websites down down below this video i can't remember it to hand because there's a lot of them out there but you go online and you'll find the events that are doing some of the events are going to be free and some of the uh, some of the events you're not going to be paying that much out and it's a good investment to invest to as an entrepreneur into your business so before you go to that event it would be a good idea for you to create yourself a nice business card a business card also what i do at the back as well is to have an elevator pitch of who you are a two minute two lines literally small lines elevator pitch of who you are like i say to myself hi i'm rachel april phillips i'm a branding marketing and product launch expert i help businesses in their brand their marketing and their career it's a simple way for people to know straight away who i am so you've got to define yourself who are you and what are you providing to your customer to your clients and to your audience and once you know that put that at the back of your business card obviously it goes as well with the address of your business the phone number location your website details all those great stuff but also elevate a pitch at the back so when they take that card they'll turn to the back of your business card and they can see straight away what you do and take that business card with you when you go to your event now that will help you because if you're not confident in uh, introducing yourself or articulating yourself in a great way, then all you have to do is after you've had an initial uh, meeting or initial induction to say hello to that person, 
you offer them their business cards. Because when you go to a lot of events as well, they have the time where you can have networking time. And then that networking time is when you get to know people. So you can, at that time, offer your business card to the person that you're willing to or want to give your business card to. But again, because you've got that elevator pitch at the back, it kind of breaks the ice and you say, oh, this is my business card, and you turn the business card to that elevator pitch. The person can see straight away what you do, and the conversation starts. Because I find it very difficult to kind of break the ice and start off the conversation. A lot of people might see me as a confident person, but I'd like to tell you a story. When I was young, I actually used to stutter. I used to stutter so bad that people couldn't actually understand a word I was saying. Yes, it's true, I used to stutter. But I had a wonderful mother that wouldn't let me settle for my stuttering and she would always, not put me down, but always push me and motivate me to help me to stop my stuttering. And one day I was stuttering, I mean I stuttered from the age of three years old, you know, probably even younger, but something happened in my life, I think when I moved from my native home in Nigeria, coming to England as a young child and having this new environment, it must have been overwhelming for me and then I just started this habit of stuttering and just stuttered and stuttered and stuttered. I find it very difficult to articulate myself, to explain to people what I want to say and you know, thank God for my wonderful mother, she just didn't leave me like that and gradually as she just constantly told me, you know, take my time, breathe, you know, that she loved me, she cared about me, she just showered so much love on me. And just one day, after just practicing, practicing, and practicing, and feeling an environment where I felt like accepted, my stuttering stopped. And I stopped stuttering at the age of 13. So from 3 to 13, which is 10 years, I used to stutter. And then from the age of 13, I didn't stutter anymore. And so, you know, I'm truly telling you that you can conquer your fear, any fear in life, if you truly believe that you are worth that dream that you want to achieve in life and you're worth it for you to have the life that you want to have so you know take your business card with you into every event and have an elevator pitch a um, two line sentence one line two line at the back of what your business does and also add to your business card it'd be great if you can get a picture that can also help to explain what your business is as well because some people also like you know the visual like to see pictures especially if you're in a creative industry i'm sure you know you know the more beautiful the card is the more colorful the more pictures you can add to that it makes it a lot easier for the creative one back then and if you're not a creative person you're more of the professional you love the writing you're a professor or you know a scientist or someone like that and then also you know if you use that elevator pitch in the sense of the writing those two things combined together pitch and the writing will help you conquer your fear of marketing yourself okay I hope that has helped you today and I just want to say thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel where we can bring you some more great tips, advice and things to help you build your brand, your business and career. And you've been watching Ritual TV. Thank you guys and have yourself a wonderful day in this beautiful world of ours and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Love you. Bye.